Ladies and gentlemen and graduates, if we could have you go to your locations, please, and we will start the ceremony in just a few moments. Good afternoon, graduates, parents, family members, faculty, our school board members, and guests. Welcome to the 2020 Horicon High School Commencement Ceremony. It is truly going to be a unique ceremony, but I hope that you can appreciate the moment for what it truly is. A moment to recognize the class of 2020 and celebrate with them this milestone in their life of graduating from the Horicon High School. We have worked very hard to make this day as special and meaningful as possible with the parameters that we face. We feel we have done that. So let's enjoy and recognize our seniors. To respect the graduates and today's speakers, please silence your phones and refrain from use of cellular devices during the ceremony. Before the singing of the national anthem, Please join me in recognizing the following five seniors who will be serving our country after graduation. Lizzie Zentafer, U.S. Army. Darius Minima, United States Marine Corps. Brandon Zamorano, U.S. Air Force. Caleb LeBlanc, U.S. Air Force. And Josh Renning, U.S. Air Force. Assume you, but rather face it head on by rising up and overcoming the hand you're dealt. How you respond says everything to the character that you will become. Attitude is everything. Number five, life happens. How you choose to approach each day is all up to you, no one else. We live in America and you can choose your path if you don't like the one you're on. Don't allow yourself to feel defeated in any situation like the past three months. Get up and take each day on, no matter what, with a positive, friendly approach, and you'll find that you will enjoy your days on this earth so much better. Number six, choose kindness. Life happens. Don't be a jerk to others. And when you see someone being a jerk, be brave enough to stand up for the one being targeted. You know what's right and wrong, so, so continue to be the kind-hearted students you have been through your journey in the halls of Horicon. Do the right thing and choose kindness. Number seven, disconnect your technology and news feeds. Life happens. It's ironic and crazy when I have usually har harped on you to turn off your technology, 
that now we've pushed you to finish your schooling all through technology. Yeah, I know. It wasn't a lot of fun at times, and trust me, the teachers were getting tired of Google Hangouts and Zoom meetings too. But it was what we had to do to connect with all our students, and I'm proud of our staff and our students and you parents for all the efforts made through all this time. Number eight, finally, I hope that now that the year is done and online classes are over, we can all start to reconnect to people face to face, be it six feet apart. That you all will remember to get off your phones and speak to people. That's what matters. To the class of 2020, you will always hold a special place in my heart for all that you have endured. And you will always be welcome back to your school. Even though it may look a little different, you're always a Marshman. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Apple. I must begin by thanking people and organizations who aided us in putting this ceremony together for you. The City of Horicon Police and Fire Departments, along with the same from the villages of Iron Ridge and Burnett, and the Dodge County Emergency Response Team. These organizations are responsible for your parade escort. I thank Cryocamp Trucking, Horicon Hills, Hardware Hank, and FFA. They contributed to our stage and our escorting. I thank Chris Sabish and C.D. Smith Construction, who have worked with us and amongst us for a year. In the past week, they remained attentive to our many requests, despite their heavy hearts. Finally, the faculty and staff of Horicon School District, your teachers, custodial, maintenance, food service, and especially the secretaries for their work on preparing the trailer and the parking lot. Yesterday, this was a parking lot. Today, it is a stage and an outdoor ceremony venue, thanks to their hard work. And lastly, I thank the graduates and your families. Thank you for trusting us to put together a ceremony today. You deserve a ceremony, you deserve a celebration. Thank you for letting us give that to you today. There are also a few people here today, not here today, that deserve special mention. Tina Strablo would love us being outside, and she would tell you to appreciate the people that have gathered with you today to celebrate. I think Tina is probably responsible for the weather today. She would get that done for us. We're also missing our exchange students, Noah, Gee, and Colin. Think of them. Last August, they followed a dream and came to the marsh in Wisconsin, only to leave on a moment's notice. We miss you guys and hope you are watching us. I think a lot about perspective. I also think about what you as students teach me. I see a lot on the internet about the pound sign, like pound sign, sorry, not sorry, pound sign, 2020 grad. Then I learned I was taking the wrong perspective. It's a number sign, sorry, not sorry. It's a shift of the three. Wait, tic-tac-toe, 2020 grad? Pound sign, sorry, not sorry? Why are you sorry, but you're not sorry? Dakota tried to explain hashtag me to me but I guess I still just don't understand your perspective on that. Let's go back. It was a beautiful day last spring. Five at 11, playing softball. Josh hits a pop fly. Aaron calls it because in his perspective, it was his ball. Miss Wolf calls it. In her perspective, it was her ball. For the record, Miss Wolf, who calls it first gets it. That was Aaron's ball the whole time. But they crash. A short time later, the Beaver Dam Community Hospital ER department per perspective is that Horicon Fayed is hardcore. Two concussions. 
But hey, this is Horicon. Softball. Whatever it takes. On a side note, this class is incredibly talented. They have multiple conference players of the year, state qualifier, state champion. They have the reputation of working hard in the weight room. Thank you for that. Back to perspectives. You've probably heard multiple perspectives on the appropriateness of us gathering today. I know I have. Some feel we are putting lives at risk gathering here. Others feel social distancing and hand sanitizer is overreacting. I know you would have preferred being in Mr. Wolf's government class the last nine weeks, but instead, you've lived a history lesson. You can share your perspective with your children and grandchildren. Your experience is unique. You've made history, even today. So what will be your perspective as you take your diploma and leave this outdoor ceremony venue? Will you finish the parade never to be seen again to your classmates or your school? Or will you follow the lead of Mrs. Kane and share your time and talent with your community, wherever that may be? Will you keep making history, starting new traditions, things like homecoming bowl games with no bowl? You have shown us your ability to persevere, to keep learning, to celebrate. Finally, I'll share my perspective. It has been a pleasure to be your principal the last six years. I cannot speak high enough of your behavior, especially the last nine weeks. Not a single tardy, no office tardies, nine weeks. You made history. No discipline referrals the last nine weeks. You're history makers. And from my perspective, it is time to graduate.
Blake Cruz.
husband.
Javon Minima. Yadira Ortiz. Yadira is class co-valedictorian. You can see her speech on the school website.
Olivia Salazar.
please be safe on your parade route? Take your cue from Mr. Laboten and we will line you up. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, one more thing. To make this official, Mrs. Strife and members of the Horicon Board of Education, these students before you have met the requirements set forth by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction and the School District of Horicon Board of Education. Graduates, please stand, face me. At this time, please grab your tassel and move it from right to left, signif signifying that you are the most recent graduates of the School District of Horicon. Congratulations! We did it, everyone. Thank you, everybody. We'll line up and do the parade now.